Let me bring up now some of the photos and maybe some of the videos. Pull this up. Okay, let's see. Um, of our mashkiach in in action. Okay, this is a a uh, overview of Bolivia where the production took place. This is a quinoa plant. Ellie, can you see the picture? Okay, all right. Um, that's a quinoa. That, this is a plant. This the plant, here, not the plant is, where they make it. No, but it's this the is plant a, that it grows a grow, vegetable that grows, and you can see them all growing here. L A N T. Here. Right. See the quinoa plant uh, growing in Bolivia. Again, here's our mashkiach right here. Okay. This is the hat. It's very hot down there, and he dressed appropriately. This is again the mashkiach. If you can pick him out, Rabbi Bayer, from all the, with all the farmers. I think he's that, that that short guy in the front there with the little funny hat on. We could have used a mashkicha, a female, but we didn't. Yeah. Uh, this is the mashkiach over here, standing over here. Uh, with him. So we actually, we didn't just say, take quinoa from Bolivia or from wherever, put it into a box and say it's kosher for Passover. Mm -hmm. No. We went to the field to check out to make sure that they don't um, uh, rotate the crops with barley. Uh, they don't cover it. In some places we've heard that they... They, 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 they cover the, 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 the cut down. They cut it down and they put it together let it in a dry pile, in the fields. And then they right. let it dry and they cover it with, with barley, barley stalks, stalks in right. order to keep away the birds. So that would be a problem for us. Obviously, barley can be hummus. Um Okay. So he's there from the time of the actual harvesting through the... He's, he was there at the time to check out the fields mm -hmm. and to make sure that, the, that the, they used, uh, they used areas quinoa from fields that was acceptable. And also the bags can also be an issue because they could just go home and use bags that they have in, at home. But we made them use right. new bags. And here you see again the mashkiach at the packing uh, of the quinoa into the, uh, into the larger sacks, which are also available for sale. For sale. You can find that information on our website. People can buy, buy a 50 pound people bag buy a 50 of quinoa. Bag and like, divide it up. They, they can, that's an idea that's something that they can do. Um, and here's one of the workers bagging the, the quinoa. And this, that's all this plant does is this, this quinoa. And that's another thing you want to be sure is that the place that's packing it either only does quinoa or that the mashkiach made sure that there's nothing else in there at the time um, while, he, while it was being bagged. Okay, let's see. Let's, see. If they, let's take some of these questions. Chaim is asking if corn is a new item that came from the new world does not exist, why is it still kidney as how is quinoa different? Okay, there are some items. Rav Moshe Feinstein, let's talk about peanuts. Rav Moshe says that peanuts are not kidneys because it, it's a new item. Yeah, when I was and growing yet, up as a kid, we used to use peanut oil. Peanut oil, I remember that too. Mm -hmm. But yet now, you won't find a certification on it. It sort of crept into the, into the quinoa custom. And truth be told... Kidneys custom, custom. What did I say? Quinoa. Oh, into the kidneys uh, custom. If quinoa would, be, would have the same root as peanuts, no pun and, intended. And, uh, and pe people would, uh, would stop eating it because they considered it kidney oils, and that would be the custom, then that could become, that could require us to stop certifying it because we, we can't argue with the, the way people treat it. So it's all based on the custom. I think that's the basic answer to his, uh, to his question, that it, it's crept in and nonetheless. Right. It also um, depends on how it's used. Well, actually, corn flour, I guess, is, yeah. You can argue that. Yeah. Um, now, I do have also a video, Rabbi Bayer. I want to show that. Take that over here. Chaim is asking, what's the star case position on cumin? Okay, our position is that, um, our position is that it, cumin could be a problem similar to, uh, to grains that, that are kidney oats. But if the agency takes responsibility, the kosher agency takes responsibility that there is no uh, Hamas problem with it, we will accept it. So we, we could accept cumin with a reliable passive certification. So it, needs, it would need a reliable yes. certification. Yes. Is Bolivia the place they arrested a Jewish person from New York for no reason? It yes. Is? Okay. The people that we sent to Bolivia were South. South. They uh, live there. They live. They live in in South America. I don't think that they had any problem at all. Okay. Let's let's um, go over here. They only kidnap people they can. Uh, Right, get money out of it. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'll buy it. Let me, let me bring this up. And the next thing I'm going to show is a video of the mashkiach in the fields. 
I have to warn you though that it's uh, it's on the YouTube site. So if you can't, some people have blocked off YouTube, and they wouldn't be able to see it. We have a video on YouTube. I posted on YouTube. Hemos seguido a Melesio hasta esta zona. Rabbi Goldberg is going to translate for us. This translation on the screen. Donde han cosechado quinoa. A lo lejos. Que todavía están los montones de quinoa. Que es la venteadora. Oh, I didn't mean, I meant to pause it. But let me do that again. But you can see there, you saw there, Rabbi Bayer, how they were, it, 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 it's a primitive method. I was going to say, very high tech. It's a primitive yeah. method. Can you see that, Rabbi so, Rabbi? So ancient harvest is, is literal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a primitive method of production. It's not, it's not a high tech at all. I, I found this to be very interesting. They sit yes, in there these people have been eating sitting. this stuff and doing this stuff for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we just, and we just, uh, these are like the original like Mayans. Hemos seguido a Melesio hasta esta zona, que es un campo, pues granos de quinoa, pero todavía con impurezas. The red, the red Luego, stuff over there is red quinoa? Red is also quinoa. Red is red quinoa, there is black quinoa, the different types of, of quinoa. This is, this, this is, is the only kind of quinoa I've ever seen. Okay, there's, there's three colors. Right? La máquina de acá. Es la venteadora. Que lo que hace es ya separar los granos de quinoa de las otras de pajita. Que voy alcanzando, sentándose. Eso lo hace justo después de la cosecha. O sea, ahorita para. This is close up of our. Yeah, this is our mashkia. And uh, he did a wonderful job. And he's interviewing the, uh, the farmers, discussing the, uh, the issues with them. Um, and we asked them to make videos so that we would have have uh, a record of what what happened there. Um, let me see if I can bring up one more video. Okay, let's try another one. Rabbi Rabbi, are there any more questions? I don't see them coming up on my screen. You can have. Okay, we'll get to the Pekin in a minute. You can have. Let's bring up this uh, this other video of the. Let's see what this is. Estamos frente a. Okay, see here, red, red quinoa. Correcto. Pardas de quinoa roja. Aunque se ve un poco marrón. This is for effect of Yeri's del. This is after it was harvested and then they put it in piles, almost like a. Like this is after it was harvested, they like put it in the piles. Like, you know, like and, it's, and it's going to stay here. It's going to stay here driving. I mean, drying. Drying, right. Okay. Uh, y Eris nos ha estado explicando que la quinoa so roja ha tenido un salto tremendo en, en el volumen de siembra, porque los precios de la campaña pasada. Ya estamos prácticamente en el regreso del sur hacia Oruro. Uh, the, the point I want to get across is, is the gist of it is that he spent a long time days in the fields and, mm -hmm. and, and watching the, uh, the, har the, you know, the, the, the harvest process and then uh, we, we, that was like a pilot trip and then when it came time for packing he went back to the, After the, the drying. to the facilities yes this is a month later he went back and he was there on a constant basis to make sure that there was no problem with the, uh, with the quinoa so I feel confident uh, enough this year to, to say it doesn't need any checking. In the previous years, we would say you can buy it, but you should check it. Um, and this year, we're, we're not saying that. I think there's going to be a lot of very pleased uh, quinoa consumers. And one thing that, that I have over here, Rabbi Bayer, I'll put up while, while, we're, uh, while we're waiting, is a, a little poll over there. So we can see, um, Rabbi Goldberg, we can see who's going to be using quinoa or not using quinoa. You have entirely too much time on your hands. <laughs> when did you I, run this poll? About five minutes before I we started. About five to twelve. I didn't get. I was not. I did not get the poll. No, we're running it right now. I created it. It only takes a second to create. People are answering now whether or not they're Where using quinoa. Where did this go out? To all our listeners. They're really? Watching, yeah, they're watching it now and they're voting uh, whether or not they're going to be using quinoa 
on Pesos. Exactly. We'll, we'll get we'll get the we'll get we the results. Say, will you be using Star K certified pin model? Right. Okay, is what we want you. To